All right, so it's June 2022. I'm gonna show you how to create a remarketing list out of people who've been to your website on Google Ads. So this would be a remarketing list for people for YouTube ads, Google display ads, and even Google search ads. We're gonna dive right into it. I'm Rob from Feedback Ranch. So let's just assume you've already got your own campaign or your own ad account all set up. And here's what we're gonna do. First off, we're gonna to go to Tools and Settings, and we're gonna to go to Audience Manager. So that's the first thing that you have to do is you actually have to create, and there's a couple different ways to do this, but we're gonna create a data insight or a data source. So on the left here, let's go to data source, and I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to install this. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to use the actual Google Ads tag, okay? So what you can do here is you can go Google Ads tag and hit install, and eventually what'll happen here, now this is one that we just installed, I just got this going. Um, as you create this Google Ads, there's a point where you can actually hit the setup, right? So when you go to setup and you create that, this is like a Google ads tag. We can either install a tag ourselves or use Google tag manager. Okay. Um, what I'm going to show you real quick is how to use Google tag manager. And this is assuming you've already done this already. Well, you could install this tag yourself. And essentially what you'll do is you would grab this script. And what you would do is you would go put this in the header of your website, right? There's there's different ways to do that, but I'm gonna use Google Tag Manager. And what happens is there's this little conversion ID. I'm gonna grab that little conversion ID. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to Google Tag Manager. I'm gonna hit tags and I'm gonna hit new tag, okay? And um, so we're gonna go Google Ads, new, and we're gonna go, I call it G Ads, um, remarketing tag. We're gonna hit tag configuration. It's gonna be a Google ads remarketing. This is the Google ads remarketing. We're gonna hit that and we're gonna put the tag right in there and we're gonna hit triggers. The triggers is going to be on all pages. So now we've set on all pages, create this ads and it's going to work. Things are going to be good. Now I already did this, so I'm gonna back out of that really quick. Um, and if I look at the type, we've got Google ads conversion tracking. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to, or we have Google ads remarketing. So I have that deployed. We just updated it. Um, things are going right now. The other thing that you've got to make sure that you have on here is you're going to go new and you're going to call this one um, Jad's linker, or Google ads linker. Okay. And there's a tag here called the conversion linker. You've got to put the conversion linker in there. You don't do the conversion linker and you enable that on all pages here. And when you go up here, you're gonna go enable linking on all page URLs and across all domains if you have multiple domains, otherwise just keep it to one. You're gonna hit save and once you've saved all that, you're gonna go in and you're gonna hit submit and save all that and things are gonna be good. And that's going to allow you to have the, the tag firing. Now once you've got that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a thing called the segments, okay? And for segments, here's what we're gonna do. We already have a couple of these set up. We're gonna do a 14 day. So the whole idea is people come to your website and we're gonna hit this plus and we're gonna go, these are website users, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna call this stance 14 day website users, okay? So for 14 days, so it's a visitor of a page. I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna grab this fantastic website we built for him. We're gonna go to stance tax. We're just gonna grab his URL, okay? And when you get in here, we're gonna say, so a visitor of a page who matches, it basically says a visitor page matches a rule. And we're gonna say it contains this stancetax.com. So no matter what, this is the core root, stancetax.com is the core, right? And now, so basically this is saying anyone who visited that anything with that in there, so it could be stancetax.com forward slash blog, forward slash whatever. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say pre-fill Let's pre-fill this with everybody in the last 30 days who's been there, but then we're gonna say membership duration. On this one, we're gonna say 14 days. You can go all the way up to 540 days if you want to. Um, again, it, it gets a little dicey. Now I'm just gonna add a little description for my own notes. 14 days of all traffic for remarketing. And we hit create segment. Now what will happen is that will kind of backfill just a little bit. and. You can create a whole bunch of these, right? So you can have all visitors, but you can do 14, 90, 180, 540 days, 30 days, however many you feel like you need. And then you can use them to either, as you're creating an ad, you can either um, have the ad include that or you can have it exclude that depending on exactly what you wanna do. 
and that can be helpful. That's how you create a, a remarketing list on Google Ads in 2022.